So the first of the week's really big group ones, and it's the Judmont International, formerly, of course, the Benson and Hedges Gold Cup, famous for the only defeat of Brigadier Gerard when it was run for the first time back in 1972, where probably most of the people listening to this weren't even born. And there we go. <laughs> anyway, 10 furlongs, Group 1. I can remember it well. Battleground at the top for David Hooley. Oceans of Ages, Darren Thompson. Ragged Oroki for David Robertson. San Jose Brilliance, Vinnie Gerard. Sir Val, David Hooley. Alaskan Hestia and Amber Angels for Craig Allen. Dakar Girl, Dan Hughes. Heaven Faced and Illumination for Leon Van Rinsburg. Angelopolis for Darren Thompson. Carignano. Michael Scala, Marketeer, Paul Rhodes has also got the call hand, Lucinda. Green Mantle for Craig Beckwith is the bottom one of the 15 that we've got in this. And all installed, ready to go. And away they go. And he's going to be the first to show one or two of these. going to try and get a little bit closer to the fence, I would think. But it's San Jose Brilliant who's gone off into the lead. And he's going to try and cut across. But Heaven Face might be trying to stop him from doing that. And I think he will do. And so too will Sir Val on the inside. And also Angelopoulos and Call and Lucinda. But San Jose Brilliant did make it to that fence in the lead. So the speed of the Vinnie Gerard horse got it across to the fence and it gets into that customary four length lead from Callham Lucinda in second Sir Val is third battleground the stable companion that one is closest to us in fourth then Ragged Oroki Oceans of Ages is after that one and then Alaskan Hester with Illumination and Heaven Face looking towards the back Amber Angels is the current back marker they're already down towards the six furlong point then and San Jose Brilliance is three or four clear of Callham Lucinda in second Sir Val on the rail is third Angelopolis is fourth wide of that Ragged Oroki Oceans of Ages is well placed the grey Alaskan Hestia is nicely placed as well the one that's just run itself into a bit of a cul-de-sac is Carignano wide on the track Battlegrounds just lost a little bit of ground on the inside of that one is um, Green Mantle Marketeer and Dakar Girl are currently out the back but it's San Jose Brilliance who leads but now at the centre of the track Ragged Oroki's come through to try and challenge and Ragged Oroki now look at this Carignano it got a split and it's gone out Cool and Lucinda's also got out as well so too Heaven Faced Illumination now come round the outside and suddenly it's wide open this the big long straight at York and it's San Jose Brilliance who's in the lead from in second place Heaven Face Alaska and Alessia is next then comes Carignano Illumination Cool and Lucinda he's still trying to stick on but they've got to get past this San Jose Brilliance who's led all the way for a long half to go and he's still in front by a length and a half from Carignano Angelopolis then Alaska and Alessia and Illumination Heaven Face Cool and Lucinda trying to get back into it as well but it's still San Jose Brilliance who's got the rail Angelopolis is trying to close. San Jose Brilliance needs the line to come. San Jose Brilliance is just holding on. Here comes Alaska Nesquim and Ragnar Oki. Oh, it's close. It's close on the line. Ragnar Oki, Alaska Nesquim. They were all closing on the Vinnie Gerard horse on the rail who maybe not held on. Alaska Nesquim. Is the one who may have got it. Ragged or Oki looked like it was finishing fastest of all. That's not even in the first three. It's Alaskan Hestia for Craig Allen in a thrilling finish. San Jose Brilliance for Vinnie Gerard was second. Angelopolis Darren Thompson third. Ragged or Oki David Rawson fourth. And Heaven Faced for Leon Van Rinsburg was fifth. So a pretty exciting finish to the first big group one of the week then and Alaskan Hestia takes a close finish for Craig Allen.